WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. we got a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow up 145 points. She's trading out at 34 4 42. The S&P is up 12. 43.65 is the print. NASDAQ 100 is up 8. Russell's off 5. Semis are down 43. Tranny's down 66. You got gold. Trading out at 17.24. That's off $13.20. Silver down 99 pennies. That's a little over 4%. 4.5% really. 21.47 is its print. The uh, lights we crewed up 27 pennies. Natural gas 13 cents. A nice move out there. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini. That's going to be in the upper left hand corner as soon as we get there. What do we know about the ES Mini? We know that it has a Gartley buy pattern. That Gartley buy pattern was uh, completed and formed right here, trading day of September 22nd. That says that was a, a Three River Morningstar candle formation. So the low of the pattern is a support. And that says that uh, the ES Mini would need to close below 4293.75 in order to negate that signal. And you've got the uh, bottom of its weekly profile at 4312. Now, there's not going to be any upside action inside the uh, S&P 500 or the ES Mini unless we start to see that spot volatility next move below its 50-day exponential moving average. That is not the condition right now. Yesterday was a one-day rate of change uh, above plus 10%. I believe, I believe that's one of the reasons that we're seeing the rally. We know that pattern. Uh, the 50-day exponential moving average is 18.96. Price trading out at 23.23. The NQ is, uh, and I should really draw the consolidation pattern in on uh, this chart. I'll, I'll have that for tomorrow. Uh, but price is below the bottom of its uh, weekly profile. Now, it doesn't matter where it's at on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday. It only matters where it closes on Friday. But it closed tomorrow, not up tomorrow, but on Friday below 14802 would suggest a change in trend signal inside the NQ. The U.S. dollar index strong like bull. It's strong because of the weakness inside of the euro, the great British pound, the uh, yen out there. And the U.S. dollar index, its next price target is up at the 9448 level. During the uh, Trader's Edge show, we'll go take a look at the euro, the pound, the U.S. dollar, there is some longer-term resistance that price is trading into. Gold is uh, closed below its key level of support. That was at 1742. It closed below it yesterday. It's trading below it today. And silver is taking out key support at 2209. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. We'll be up in just a few. If you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to seeing you soon.